The rotavirus vaccination programme will come too late for little Felix Barrow, even though he's only three days old. It's a scheme that could have helped his big brother Theo, who, like thousands of other children, has suffered from bouts of sickness and diarrhoea. There was a, a few times where he was very, very sick, very ill, um, and uh, yeah, the, the bedroom was a, was a complete mess. Um, and uh, I think after after a few days of, uh, of that, um, and I think probably two or three separate times, he was he was really very ill. There's nothing worse than seeing your own child be really poorly. Um, so absolutely, if there's something there that can prevent it, um, I would usually be all for that. Rotavirus is highly infectious, with around 140,000 cases every year in under fives, causing around 14,000 hospital admissions. Experts believe the vaccine would cut the number of cases in half and lead to 70% fewer hospital visits. The programme is expected to cost £25 million a year, but the government says the reduction in cases could save the NHS £20 million. Many parents think that sickness and diarrhoea bugs are unpleasant but unavoidable. But doctors who support the introduction of this new vaccination programme say in countries where it has already been introduced, like the US, there have been huge reductions in the numbers of children being admitted to hospital, showing that it doesn't have to be something that parents simply need to put up with. Keeping children out of hospital really is, is ideal especially in the winter when we tend to see outbreaks of rotavirus. So we expect to see a big impact on cases prevented, hospital admissions prevented as well. And parents here at Creepy Crawley's Adventure Playground in York agree that the introduction of the scheme next September is a positive step. It'd be brilliant, yeah, I'm sick of them being poorly through it. The parents think it's a good thing because they're not so ill all the time, and especially if they've got two or three, but I would want, if it was personally, I would want to know a little bit more about it. Anything like that has got to be a good thing. Anything that cuts out before it gets any worse. The vaccine will be delivered by oral drops in two doses after two and three months, a move which could protect children like Theo and their parents from a lot of worry and suffering. Fraser Maud, Sky News, York.